So in a ship unloading operation, a 3500 pound automobile is supported by a cable. A rope is tied to the cable at A and pulled to the center of the automobile over its intended position. The angle between the cable and the vertical is 2 degrees and the angle between the rope and the horizontal is 30 degree. What is the tension in the rope? So in this problem, the car is suspended in a position. So in a position means the system is assumed to be in equilibrium. So as we know, the conditions for equilibrium is summation f of x equals 0 and summation f of y is 0. So with this assumption, we are going to proceed this problem. So the given data, the mass of the object is 3500 pounds. So it is converted into Newton. 1 pound is equal to 4.44 Newton. So you will be getting 15,400 Newton. So from the problem, we want to find out the tension in the rope AB and AC. So we want to construct the free body diagram. So here A is the point where the automobile is hanging. So from the fixed point A, we are taking the weight of the car acting downwards. That is 3500 pounds acting downwards and the string tension T of AC is acting at 30 degrees with respect to horizontal and the spring tension sorry string tension a b is acting 2 degrees with respect to vertical so t a b is acting 2 degree to vertical and t a c is acting 30 degree to horizontal so first we want to convert all the vertical angles into horizontal angles and we want to proceed the problem so if this problem can be proceeded by two methods one is resolution of forces another by lamy's theorem so we know as per the resolution of forces we want to draw the free body diagram once the free body diagram is drawn the tabular column is drawn and representing the forces different forces and angle of the forces with respect to x axis so here three forces are acting tab tac and the 3500 pounds it is converted into 15400 newton and TAB is acting 88 degree with respect to x axis and TAC is acting 30 degree with respect to x axis and weight is acting downward. So, we are putting 90 degrees. So, horizontal component Fx is F cos theta and vertical is F sin theta. So, this tabular column is drawn and want to find out the summation x. So want to sum up the all the horizontal components and you will be getting the summation F of x equals minus TAB cos 88 degree plus TAC cos 30 degree and summing up the vertical component we will be getting summation Fy equals TAB sin 88 degree minus TAC sin 30 degree minus 15400 sin 90 degree. Since the system is in equilibrium we will be equating the summation F of x equals 0 and summation F of y equals 0. So we will be getting two equations 0.866 TAC minus 0.03 49 TAB equals 0 and 0 0.999 TAB minus 0 0.5 TAC minus 15400 equal to 0. So here two equations are there, two unknowns are there. So solving the equations we will be getting TAB is equal to 15726 Newton and TAC is 633.767 Newton. The same problem can be approached by Lamy's theorem. We know that as per the Lamy's theorem, if the body is in equilibrium under the action of three forces, each force is proportional to the sine of the angle between the other forces. So P by sine alpha equal to Q by sine beta equal to R by sine gamma. So here the Lamy's theorem can be applied to the coplanar concurrent forces system only. So coming to the free body diagram. So here three forces are acting. The weight is acting downwards that is 3500 pound is acting downwards. So once you take 15,400 divided by sine of 122, that is the angle between TAB and TAC, you want to take it, and TAB divided by sine 60 equal to TAC divided by sine 178. So here using this equations, can you can find out TAB equals 15,726 Newton and TAC equals 633.767 Newtons. So in the both the methods, we'll be getting the same answer. Thank you.